Welcome to thebusiness.com once again. Well, rather than recruiting for missing skills, you're thinking of sending an existing employee on an expensive training course. This would be much cheaper in the long run, but you don't want them to leave their position afterwards. What's the answer? The first thing they should do should be to have a formal chat with the employee. Even though they've previously expressed an interest in this area, the training idea might not fit in with their long-term career plans. After this, the best thing to do is to ask yourself a few questions to determine whether or not it's the right course of action. Things like, will the training meet their needs fully? Or, how long it will take for the employee to be up and running? If it would be quicker and possibly cheaper to hire in somebody with the required skills, and even if these questions are all answered to your satisfaction, you shouldn't just send the employee on the training course. Before doing so, you should ask them to enter into a training costs agreement. This will enable you to claw back the money you've paid out if the employee drops out of the course or even resigns after the course has ended. However, if the employee is made redundant, your agreement becomes obsolete simply because the loss of their job was through no fault of yours or theirs. Finally, always make sure that the employee signs the training costs agreement before the course starts, otherwise you'll have a problem trying to enforce it. There are mental benefits here too, as it will focus the staff member's mind on the task in hand. So that's our top tip for today. Thanks for watching. More to come on thebusiness.com.